All right, welcome back. And so in this video, we are going to connect finally the API actions of login and sign up with the permissions we have into our front end to be able to actually connect the UI we have of signing this up. And this is actually the easier part of the whole process. What we're going to do is head over to our system. And what we need to do is create a simple uh, login API uh, query. So we're gonna to go to the queries here and we're gonna go down to a new document here. And we'll just go ahead and call this uh, sign up. And we're gonna construct that query together over here. We're gonna turn off these uh, variable testings we were doing. And we're going to be able to uh, construct an anonymous uh, request here, what it would look like permission wise. So if we say mutation, we'll say log in we know that we're going to need to take in a username variable which is a string and a password variable which is also a string and now we're going to actually uh, go ahead and give those uppercase strings here and we need to spell mutation correctly and now we can head into here and we're going to say that uh, we're going to call the login mutation itself with the password being password. We'll call username first just because it helps match our, our system. Username is gonna be username. And then we're gonna return the username and the token. And the ID actually. Okay, so this appears to be a valid query here. We're gonna go ahead and take this over and save this. This is now our login uh, query. And we're gonna generate, uh, this is not login, I think. Yeah, it's login. We're gonna go ahead and replicate this for uh, sign up, which I wanna say is essentially identical. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and create that. So you can see I made the mistake here where I, I called the one thing and did the other thing. So we're gonna now create the login.graphql. We will paste this one into login. So login is now fine over in sign up land. We're gonna switch this over to sign up and we'll call this sign up. Okay, so that should all be fine. Let's go ahead and generate those uh, requests. And what we can do now is we're gonna head over to our, uh, our store. And this is where it's kind of nice because we're able to actually work with everything here inside of this uh, system. So what we're gonna say is uh, we're gonna import the different statements here from our generated uh, documentation. So we want to grab the login query, the login mutation, and the login mutation variables. The same thing for sign up, sign up mutation, sign up mutation variables. And then we're going to also import our client from the utilities. So we're going to import client. From, uh, from utils. Okay, so now we have this essentially created. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and head into our, uh, our sign up first. And so we're gonna come in here and say uh, client dot mutation. And we're gonna type the response we're gonna be getting out of this. So we're gonna say that you're gonna be getting the sign up mutation and the sign up mutation variables. And so then we're gonna be able to call this and we're gonna pass in the sign up document. And then we know, okay, the next thing we need is the variables. And we're gonna able to say that we need username and password, which we have access to from our uh, context here, from the, the function we're passing in. So we can actually just do uh, object assignment there. And then we're gonna call the to promise on this which will give us the actual result that we're gonna, uh, that we'll be able to work with. So this is now allowing us to work with uh, promisified data. So we're gonna go ahead and say dot to promise, and uh, we're gonna call the uh, then, and then we're gonna put the response on this that's coming in. And here's where we're gonna handle uh, potentially the case of errors. So we're gonna say if d dot error, We'll say console.log d.error.graphql errors, which would be the thing that we would get. And that way we, that way we can go ahead and uh, return. 
otherwise what we're going to do is we're going to actually go ahead and uh, actually we'll not do the return here we'll just go ahead and uh, run this so we're going to go ahead and say um, else we're going to go ahead and assign the response to our user so we're going to use the set command here which is coming in from our, our uh, uh, Tsushdan utility. So we're gonna set the user, is this user or local user? It's user with the full payload that we're getting from d.data.signup. Uh, which actually is just the full payload. And we'll be able to just simply set that on sign up. And after we've checked for errors, we're going to do another check here, which is like, I know it's kind of nesting things a little bit, but what we're going to say is if d.data.signup, which is what we're actually looking for, now we're going to handle our uh, rest of our code here. So we're going to go ahead and run a little bit of statement here where we're going to say we're looking for the uh, username, the token, the ID of the username from our signup payload. And as long as we have all of that, we're going to go ahead and actually add an additional piece of code here, which will allow us to be able to set our user now. So we're going to remove this refresh token, which we're not using in this context, but we'll say auth is now an auth uh, state. And we're going to say that the, we're going to pass in the token, the ID and the username. And now we have all the data. Let me just verify that I have username actually on my user. And it looks like my local user does not, it does have a username, so I'm gonna... And then I can set my, my uh, username here. Okay, so now we have the ability here essentially to run everything that we would expect Let's go ahead and actually uh, test this. And what we should be able to see is our username popping up. To kind of um, just view this, I guess, if you will, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our um, index here. And uh, on this index page, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a, or actually in the header, we're just gonna do this in the header real quick. We're gonna uh, bring in our uh, store library. So we're gonna say import, uh, use store and we're going to import that from our uh, our store directory and here we're going to actually just grab the username off of that object so we're going to go ahead and say a const user equals use store and we're going to actually uh, pick off of the store our uh, user here so we're able to grab the user data itself and it's actually not a spread we're just going to go ahead and return the user itself so here at the very top of our of our menu we're just going to put it here next to probably that logo just so we can kind of see it uh, so this is the daisy ui logo and we're just going to put this like maybe here and we'll put in a uh, user uh, dot username. So if that exists, then we're going to render out the actual uh, username itself. So user dot username. Okay, so we're just going to render. We can see at the moment we don't see anything. Uh, but now if we go ahead to sign up, and in this case we need to create a new user, we're going to go ahead and handle, uh, we'll say, um, sign up, or we'll, no, <laughs> we'll go ahead and say, uh, so we had Tim last time, and we'll say uh, Jan, and we'll also stick with the 123Password for now. So we'll sign up, and we can see that we were able to access, uh, successfully sign her in and be able to get her username now. So now we have a persisted user and our state is now authed. And what's nice about that being that it's in local storage, if we re refresh this, uh, we'll see, oh, there's a, as a use, edge case we'll need to handle in the code. Uh, but we can see that we still have our existing user, which is, which is great. 
What we're gonna do in the next video is handle the auth case. So we'll pass in the login op ability, we'll pass in the, uh, the ability to log out, and we're gonna handle the auth state so we get redirects if we are auth and not auth, and uh, be able to start to actually order pizzas in the next couple of videos. So that's that for this video. We'll see you in the next one and have a great rest of your time.